having a big meltdown today. Looks like we can have some fun out here. So I got my Red Cat Gen 7 with me here today. Waterproofed this thing all up last night. And we're gonna hit the lakes back here. It's all going to freeze again tomorrow. And I wanted to go do some water crawling because that's just fun. Sealed up the tires. This thing's ready to get wet. Look how crystal clear that is. Get it muddy. Got an IP67 Savox waterproof servo in there, so that thing is uh that thing can get wet, but I don't think we're gonna be I think I don't think we're gonna be getting that deep today. Oh gosh. Do some Slow crawling. This is a little bit harder ice right here. You can see it's just slipping. It was a little softer there. Let's go that way. I love water. It's warm today. It's like around 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's why we're having this big meltdown. Nice. Oh, it's deep right there. Oh, we got a big hole right there. Here, let's go through that one more time. Oh, you can see some of the WD-40 coming off. Oh, found some ice. Oh, this, this is gonna be fun right here. I know you guys want to see some slow motion. Let's do that already. That's about as cool as it can get right there. This thing is soaking wet. All right, so I came over here to see what the crawler track looked like. And from all the snow, uh, it's completely, um, like the bridge is wrecked. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a lot. Like there's just trees and branches just all over the crawler track. I mean, look at this starting bridge right here. I mean, this this is totally rocked. I don't even, like there's one of the boards, one of them's probably buried under there somewhere. But there is a pond, a little pond right here. The little ponds are the deep ones. So I broke away some ice right there and that is extremely deep, probably five inches deep. And we're gonna see if the Gen 7 could get through it. 
going to be servo deep, but let's just see. I mean, it's just water. How bad can it be? Oh, biffed it. All right, let's see if we can get over these logs here, which the tires are all wet. Got over the first one, and I got over the second one. Wow. That's impressive. Let's try that one more time. I did not think you would be able to do that. Let's try that one more time. See, this is why I take the bumpers off. If there was a bumper on there, this thing would not be able to do this. Yeah, see, we're having a little bit of a harder time right here. Oh, my rear wheel sunk in back there. I get it right there. And, oh. Sunk in back there. Oh, can I get, get it around? Oh. Alright, so this doesn't look like nothing much, but right, this just looks like, oh man, oh, just, oh. This is deep. Very clear though, you can kind of see in there how deep this is. Oh gosh. Oh, goodness gracious, dude, look at that. Oh gosh, let's see if we can just get it over here. Holy cow. Good grief. <laughs> look how deep that is. You can see the tires in there. It's the ice that's getting in our way here. This is not good for the truck. Did not expect to go this deep today. Really deep section. And he makes it out. Holy cow. I literally just got through that. <laughs> Jeez, and there's a lots of ice in the way, ice chunks. Man, dude, the Gen 7s are unstoppable. Beautiful. Holy cow, man. There you have it everyone. Hope you enjoyed that video. Completely submerged this thing in water. <laughs> wow, this thing did surprisingly well. It is, yeah, it's soaking wet in there. So we'll, we'll let this dry off. At least it's nice and clean now. Well, I hope you enjoyed that everybody. Oh, some water's been getting in under the sticker. Oh no. Alright, I can make another one. Oh yeah, subscribe if you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, leave a like, subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next RC adventure. Bye for now. It's a little muddy in there. We gotta, we gotta clean it off. <laughs>